Hello there, welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last time I went to route travel to Route 11, ran into Hapu again, who taught me, who gave me her, I mean, registered her Mudsdale into the right pager so I can Mudsdale gallop across these rocky grounds and today I am going to resume travel hiking down Route 13 but first there is something else I need to do um this is narrow this trainer here like past routes he won't fight you until you fight all the other trainers along the route. And up here is yet another trainer. The area is... This area is narrow so Mudsdale cannot go through here. It's important for Pokemon to be both cute and, and strong. Oh, she has a fossil Pokemon. possible to lose to lose when you're cute and strong what's up with that we just need to get cuter and stronger Yeah, I caught a Torkoal. Um, I mean, you can also catch a Lolan Graveler, Graveler here, and I didn't notice. And I didn't realize that at first. Oh, until now. The Alolan versions of Geodude, Graveler, and Golem are Rock Electric type. Torkoal, the coal Pokemon. You can tell how it's feeling by the smoke spouting from its shell. Tremendous velocity is a good sign of health. Uh, let me check my... Uh, I think I'm gonna turn off the... Turn off my... Experience share for the time being. It appears you have completed your training and defeated Root 12's other trainers. Then I, the Kahuna of Route 12, will honor you with a battle. I'll show you the Z power of a Route 12 Kahuna. Let's do it. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. So you think you're ready to do it? This is the devastating Z power of the great Kahuna of Route 12. 
Yeah, they call themselves root kahunas. Larvesta. In Pokemon Conquest, I remember how much of a pain it is to e um, evolve Larvesta. It requires its attack to be... If I recall, its attack has to be 131 for it to evolve. Yeah... I'll show you my Z power too. What? Some Pokemon and Conquest, you need a lot of patience to evolve it. But I guess I still get defeated sometimes. Ugh, I have been done in. I yield to you the title Route 12 Kahuna and this as well. TM82 Dragon Tail. I cannot allow myself to be so satisfied with this with the title of Kahuna in such a small area as this, I think it's time that I start setting my goals on the wider world as well. I don't know if I'll teach... Um... Plumeria Dragon Tail. Because she is capable of learning... Dragon... Sunstone. Some dragon move. Uh, haven't used Toro's charge in a long time, but crap, smash this rock here outside the electro scent plant, and you get a totem sticker. Perhaps it's the influence of the power plant, but electric Pokemon that I never used to see now come here. Oh yeah, um, if you have a charger bug like I do, a, or nose pass or magneton and you evolve them here they will evolve and you level them up here they will evolve into their next stages vika vika evolved um probo pass and magnes magnes zone respectively
I usually tr don't like showing wild Pokemon fights because they're a waste of time, but this is a special occasion. Yes, it has taken this long for this occasion. is evolving. Congratulations! Buggy evolved into Vika Vault. Yeah, um, if you've noticed in the so Captain Sophocles trial site that his... that the p power machine was shaped like a Vika Vault. Vika Vault, the stag beetle Pokemon. It has an organ that generates electricity in its abdomen. It concentrates energy in its strong jaws and fires off powerful jolts of electricity. Buggish it wants to learn Thunderbolt. Uh, I just taught it Volt Strike. But Thunderbolt is better. The good thing about TMs now is that they're not one you unlike Gen 1 or 2, they're not one-time use items anymore. Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Learn about all our Learn all about our plant. It's like it's electrifying. Our class is here on a field trip, so we rented out an entire Insectitor Express. Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Take your time to read all about our plant. T time moves slow around here. You could even say we move in geologic time. It's a model of a steam turbine that is moved by a ge geothermal generator. Lots of technology is made because we have Pokemon to help us make it, huh? It's a miniature model of the entire geothermal power plant. It's a... Uh, you think the volcanoes on Ula Ula were created by some huge Pokemon? Then I guess we all have that Pokemon to thank for us all living here now. Ha! Huh. Oh, hello! Hello, Alola! Here in the Alola region, volcanic eruptions can result in a long, thin strands of magma. 
they form strands of glass rather like hair. But the hair on the diglet here is not glass, but rather whiskers of some metallic substance. They use them for communication and as a sort of sensor to investigate their surroundings. Here, I've got something good for you. Lure ball. I hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex for Rotom's sake as well. Hmm, I may be the teacher here, but all I even understand from the all I even understand from all this is that Pokemon and volcanoes are pretty amazingly powerful. Yeah, don't underestimate a volcano. Pokemon from with the Magma armor, armor ability will never get frozen solid. The underground part of the plant is huge. Do you think Pokemon pop out sometimes? Phew, that Tokidemaru was strong, but I managed to get through the trial too. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? I heard from Sophocles that you just breezed through that trial yourself, Oichi. You're something else. I know, you should take this. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard of the expression that silence is golden? Gah! He's back! Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? N no that we tell you! N not that we tell you! So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon. But it has the potential to summon Pokemon so, terrifi so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for, Al for Alola. A disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it! If you do not- if you do know where Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to pro you have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean, no matter what? You just gonna leave us hanging? Oichi. If they're really looking for Cosmog then, is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we've got to keep bo both of them safe, right? Then I know what I'm gonna do. Take on the next trials to train with my partner. Look, I know Guzma was saying all those things, but I really want to complete my island challenge. 
and help people and help people learn about Pokemon battling. And I and I don't know. I've got to make sure I really get what my partner's feeling too. Yeah, totally random. Hey, Oichi, when you said about Cosma, I hope Lily and Neppy are okay. Yeah, random run-in with Gladion there. What kind of terrible trainer leaves a sweet Pokemon like that behind? That Pokemon in the next guest room has been waiting for its trainer forever. Lonely and sad. It looks so happy when it's sleeping. I just want to cuddle up and go to sleep too. Moonstone. It's a living. It's living in like in a. It's living in a desert like the Haina Desert that makes you appreciate the value of an oasis, and it's the weaknesses of different types that really make you appreciate different Pokemon. Got a problem, short stack? I can't stand guard. I can stand guard even when I'm squatting. What, what the heck do you think you're doing, huh? Did someone say you could come in here? N not that I'm doing anything in here. I haven't done anything. You want to scrap? I'm out of here. Th that's what I thought, punk. You. I mean, I ain't got no business with you. So get lost already. Disappear. The desert is like a different place every day because the winds are always moving the sand. And somewhere in that confusing mess lie the runes of abundance. Maybe Tapu Bulu just wants to be alone? Greetings, trial goer. I'm afraid this is a captain's barricade. Only those who pass the ghost type trial can come through here. Hmm. The high nut desert is like nature's own maze, but they say you can find your way through if you keep a close eye on the stone stacks. Someone once said that the answer is two, one, four, three, but what is that supposed to mean anyway? I used to be a fisherman, but after I fished up a surfboard one day, I decided to become a surfer instead. Team Skull was born out of this old group that once formed around one of the old kahunas. 
But that whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. You can't know who you'll get, get named a Kahuna or not, youngin, until they are chosen. Even humans sometimes have to live in the whim of some Capricus Pokemon. Yeah, let's fight. Well, what? You, uh, nah, 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 nah. I ain't got no time for you. I just get beat you silly. I just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. So, so I'll just leave you with this. Use it to train up and come back when you're worthy my time. TM12 Talk. Village. Tapu Village. The village was named that because the Tapu appeared to he here to protect Mount Lani Lanakila, which reaches up so close to both the sun and the moon. But all that's left of it now is the name. Phew! Look, Oichi! Seems like we're almost to the Aether House, where the captain is supposed to be, huh? So that way lies, lies Mount Lanakila, huh? I guess they're really making a Pokemon leak up there on the peak. The professor told me that Pokemon leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in, in them that they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four in their island and our island kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I'm pretty sure my Gramps is the strongest, but... I can't wait to find out for sure. Hey, Alola! And Alola to you! So this is- so this is Tapu Village. You will need to investigate it quite thoroughly. According to the records we have left to us, it seems that this is where Necrozma battled against the Tapu when it came to Alola long ago. Hungering for its light. It may be the case that the power which came pouring out of the Ultra Wormhole at that time is what changes Pokemon's regular moves into Z moves. Such theories have been suggested. Our ancestors were greedy, and they sought to control all of Necrozma, Necrozma's light. But what was the result of all that? They only hurt Necrozma, making it lose a part of itself, and causing it to run and steal all the light it could find. That's why we have Necrozma cooped up in the Megalo Tower our great ancestors built. It contains Necrozma in its rage. But that, but that facility has reached its limit. And Necrozma hungers for its light. This is, that is why we came to Alola in hopes of finding a new method to defeat Necrozma. Yet, it seems it will be a difficult mission for us, who are so new to Pokemon battling, to ever hope to defeat Necrozma. I don't really get what that I don't really get what all that was about. But it seems like those Ultra Recon Squad people are in a pretty hopeless spot, huh? 
I just wish everybody could be happy and find someone something to smile about. Even that necrosma, right, o Oichi? That mysterious duo again. What's with all that light about all that about light being stolen? Reminds me of what happened in front of the professor's laboratory. Well, that does it for this episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Next time, I will explore Tapu Village and maybe go to the next trial site. See you guys la later.